it's my last couple hours in South Korea. Um, what's the hardest part about leaving South Korea? Probably getting to the to the airport. Uh, I don't really have attachments here. I've been here for a year, and I'm used to saying goodbyes anyways. I, I think probably the the most profound thing I ever heard of traveling is don't lose perspective. It's easy to lose uh, sight of your life and perspective, especially when you're you're in a foreign country. You know, you a lot. You have to adapt to what's going on around you. So that can mean learning a new language, learning a new way of being, and all these things are are fine. Uh, but restructuring yourself and dealing with new cultures, new people, you can lose perspective. You can lose perspective easily without traveling. Uh, a lot of people get caught up in. BS and uh, they, they, you know, they forget what's important in life, you know, and I, I think, uh, yeah, probably the most important lesson I, I learned traveling is don't lose perspective, like, it's not that serious, like, people really get caught up in the things that don't matter, um, like, you know, hog ones, hog ones, working at hog ones out here, like, honestly, hog ones are kind of awful jobs, the people can be mean, it's a, it's a stressful job, and then 2.3, 2.5 million won, even with a free housing, is it's little. It's just a little money. So for all that stress, living away from family and friends, do I do I think that's worth it? No, but it's not about what it's worth doing and what's not worth doing. I think like ultimately, it's just really easy to lose perspective when you have people like who don't even knowing you bringing you down, and that that can really easily happen at a hog one where people who don't even know you're bringing you down just ripping you a shred and then of course you can start losing perspective doubting yourself fearing your reality in life um and like to be honest i don't i don't recommend working in south korea i don't recommend working at the hog ones i think it's a it's pretty meaningless and especially if you're from america or canada you can make more money I mean, it's a good way to travel, and I stand by, like, if you want to give it a shot when you're young, go ahead, but just know it's not really a career. It's something to do for a year, maybe, and it beats it beats a lot of things. There's a lot of things that, that are worse, that are worse things to do for a year. So, there's that. I'm looking for... I am looking for this I, this place where I ordered contacts is what I'm looking for. And I hope to be able to find it. Uh, anyway, so this is Seoul. I'm not going to be putting up any more video footage, really. This is pretty much all you're going to get. I didn't really do too much recording. Uh, I met someone who live streams a lot and uh they made me realize that social media is kind of lame like it's really lame to constantly have to upload to get some sort of sense of validation it's just not real life you know if you genuinely have interesting the post post it but the, like a lot of people don't like i don't even want to talk about social media i just this is my last day in south korea i'm saying goodbye to the place and uh this is it. It's not. It's not. It's not magical or anything. Yeah, I, like I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I can agree. It's a good country. Like oh, so, oh, I was talking to my friend, and and they go, oh, maybe the environment is bad in South Korea. No, the. So I will say that South Korea probably has one of the best environments. There's really good restaurants everywhere. There's coffee everywhere. There's public transport everywhere. There's art everywhere. There's nature everywhere. I would say that South Korea is a environmentally a, a pretty balanced country what drags you down here is not the environment it's the the people um you know like i, I also told my friend that i've been in a, another country and she was surprised to hear that the people there were good and beautiful and i was like yeah well there the environment is bad but the people are good you know so the environment can be good but the you know people can be bad and that's a generalization of course there's 
There's negative and positive people wherever you go. I really can't find this contact store. It's a, it's a problem. I've already walked this way. It's a big problem that I can't find this contact store. But yeah, I think one of the biggest dangers of life is taking your yourself too seriously. I think a lot of people do that. I think, we're, like, especially in a society like South Korea, where uh, uh, it's a little bit saturated and it's a little bit intense from the time you, you first start school. With, uh, with I, I think, uh, I don't know. It's uh, like there's some societies where you're taught to take yourself way too seriously and way too seriously sort of for meaningless pursuits I think the one thing I learned is people are pretty pretty cutthroat about things that don't matter like willing to murder for things that don't matter willing to be mean and manipulative and liars for things that don't matter willing to lose sleep sacrifice family and friends for things that don't matter and uh it's that's a uh, it's just a result of an exhausting reality. I think the contact store is up here. So, uh, it's a big hill. Getting my exercise today, that's for sure. <laughs> I walked down this hill when it was really slippery uh, the other day. It was. Intense. It's slippery now. Walking uphill in these shoes is just not... I feel like I'm going to slip. I have the worst shoes on. I feel like I'm never gonna find this contact store. I gotta leave today. I gotta meet my friend at one. Still got a package. I'm like, what the fuck?